Good morning, it is Sunday and I have woken up thinking, God, I don't want to have surgery. Um, as soon as I woke up, I started to think about it and I started to feel anxious and I thought the plans that I've got in place at, at the moment, I'm meant to, st because you have to stay with an adult the night of the op. The night, yeah, you can't go home if there's not an adult there. So there won't be an adult at my house. So my friend has said that she'll pick me up from the hospital and I'll stay at hers the night. Well, that's all well and good. That means that I've got someone there through the night, but she's going to go to work in the morning. So that will mean that not only will my dogs have spent the night on their own, which they will absolutely hate because they're really attached to me, they get really anxious. I think they probably spend too much time with me, so they're dependent on me. Um, the kids I've got sorted, um, so they won't be here. But it means that in the morning, she'll go to work and I'll be stuck at a stranger's, not a stranger's house, but I won't be at home. I'll be at someone else's house with no car and probably feeling really anxious and don't know how much pain I'll be in and and I'll be stuck there and I don't like that thought because obviously home is my safety zone um, I, oh, I don't know I don't know what to do for the best um, I'm not good at being ill being ill makes me anxious and panicky because I suppose I feel out of control of my body because you can't control being ill. You just, you just have to be. Um, and obviously I do my utmost to try and stay in control. Um, and I don't know how I'll feel as days go by, um, you know, when I get past that little hurdle. Um yeah, I don't, I don't know. Do you ever have moments where you think everything's too much? Because that moment for me is right now. <clears throat> so I'm trying to, trying to get ready for the whole surgery thing. And I thought, right, if my mum's going to come and stay... My mum's going to come and stay. I've got to sort the boys, the boys' bedrooms out. I've got two boys, and they're both old enough to tidy their own bedroom. And um, I'm in one of their bedrooms now. And I looked at the other one, which is worse. Uh, and I'm just thinking... I'm even looking at like the walls and thinking, right, the wall needs painting because there's grubby marks all over it. And even if I wash the walls, you know, then I'm going to have to paint them. And I'm looking around at all the stuff and thinking, right, what do they want to keep? What should I get rid of? And, you know, just... Oh. And my period's due. That's obviously helping my mood. Um, I'm going to have to go in the loft. Probably break my neck. I can't remember if I've even got a step ladder or if there's a ladder that comes down. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is this is the mood at the moment. And I thought, oh, I'm going to. I thought to myself, oh, I'm going to chill out and just forget about it all for now and watch a film. And I started watching the film and. I would love to just sit and watch a film, but then who's going to do all this shit? Who's going to get it all straight? No one. Just me. So that's me right now. <clears throat> okay, quick update. So I got the bedroom done. I still have a load of shit that I need to put into the loft or the garage or just bin it. But my friend has asked me to go for a coffee and to the cinema. So seeing as I felt pretty ropey and PMT and all of that, I've taken a pill, 
shoulders are so tense and I keep getting a pain every time I turn my neck I'm like oh like electric shock pain and I'm sure it's just from being too tense so um yeah the day is improving slightly I suppose because um I think getting out will help me to not just focus on the operation so um yeah, hopefully the film will be good. It's called Baby Driver, so I think it's a thriller. And the weather's gorgeous. Sorry about the bumpy road, but I wanted to just make this quick. So, yeah, I'll let you know how I feel later. I would imagine I'll feel okay, because like I say, I've taken a pill. So, uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs>